now I am the master. Alright, welcome Archons to another episode of Master of the Forge. Uh, this is your Forge Master, Luke, Intel Officer Luke, joined by... Fulcrum. Yeah, you just keep rolling with just it. Yeah, rolling, Ful right? Fulcrum. I'm sure there's a Fulcrum in all of the random uh, deck just, names, right? Sure. Anyway, we're here, we're going to be playing uh, Sealed, uh, so we're going to both be cracking open a deck and then taking it out for a spin and uh, we'll see who comes up trumps. So Nick, you want to you wanna crack a deck? Sure, I'll take that one. So which was that? That was middle one, was it? Yeah. Alright, well I'll go this one. I'm feeling lucky. Alright, let's do it. Crack them open, man. I just want to keep playing sealed, Ken, because then I get the joy of cracking open <laughs> more decks. More! Joy, joy, joy. Um... <laughs> See, it's the same three houses <laughs> again. Sorry, we just filmed another one. Um, Alright, what did you what did you get? Uh, I got... Weathersby of Sage Bridge Cave. Alright, what houses? Uh, I've got Shadow, Mars, and Sanctum. Cool. I got the Unsettled Wrestler of Blainier, and I got Sanctum, Shadows, and Dis. <laughs> so I now have three decks. And I have three shadows and discs, so I guess I'm a. And actually, I now have two sanctums, so I like playing the same okay. stuff, I guess. All right, let's uh. All right, so I've got the Weather Weathersby of Savage Sage Bridge Cave. It's got Shadow, Mars, and Sanctum in it. Uh, from by looking at the deck, it really wants me to um control my opponent's amber with my shadows uh, and then back it up with the fact that I've got the sanctum cards uh, so nothing can take damage uh, I've actually got a maverick card so I've got Squawker which is actually a Mars card but it's under sanctum, house sanctum this time so that all looks like it's supposed to combo with Mars so I have a turn where I can go sanctum um, heal things up with like the hallowed blaster play a few of the cards uh, to buff my Mars creatures and then uh, and then keep going up. I've got two of the bio, like biometrics backups. Uh, I'm not sure whether they're important to this deck but I've got a few of the like uh, the brainstem antenna is pretty good because that create, makes a creature a Mars creature um, so I put that on to any of my shadows creatures and uh, yeah it's um, it generally looks like it wants to control uh, my opponent's amber with and while being backed up by the other two houses all right so this is my deck just had a look at it so it's the unsettled wrestler of Blaine Blaine I someone who's Irish helped me out here bud uh, so again it's a sanctum shadows this um, getting pretty familiar with shadows and dis <laughs> and sanctum I guess um, so this is really interesting because again uh, the shadows and dis are slightly different to other things that I've seen um, like within my own decks um, and sanctum I'm not really as familiar with because I haven't had a lot of game time so uh, going through this deck it looks uh, it looks to be fairly action and artifact heavy there's still a lot of creatures but you know, compared to like a Brobna or a Mars, um, it's really got a lot of artifact potential and a lot of action potential. It has a lot of steel or amber manipulation, it feels like. Um, and there's some really interesting combos potentially there with... Um, so it has the Sting, which is an artifact that uh, when your opponent forges a key, you get the six amber that they spent. Well, you get six amber, you get the amber they spent. Um, and then that could combo really nicely with Key Hammer, which is a discard, which is you unforge an opponent's key and give them back the amber. So it could be a really brutal, like, they forge a key, give you the, the amber to forge your own key, and then you go, cool, all right, now get rid of yours. Um, but, you know, it'd be interesting to see how that plays out. There is just also just a lot of... Um, just a lot of amber control, not necessarily board control, but amber control, which is really interesting and will be interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go house Sanctum, I'm going to play Virtuous Works and immediately get three amber. <laughs> All right, son. <laughs> Slow down there. I played Virtuous Works off the bat, Ken. <laughs> hey, I'll take three amber first turn. <laughs> sure, I guess I'll 
clay sanctum as well. Yeah, go for it. Down a hallowed blast. What does that do? Uh, so action heals three damage from a creature. Okay. Um, I am. I am gonna go house uh, sanctum. Yeah, we'll go house sanctum. I'm just gonna play sequest. Um, and I'll play Sergeant Zekiel, it's play, you may ready and fight with a neighboring creature, but there's nothing to fight, so... Over to you. Uh, I'm going to go with House Mars. Uh-huh. I'm going to play Phosphorus Stars, so play, I stun each non-Mars creature. Cool, so I get two, right oh, there, stunned. Yep. And I gain two chains. Yep. Yeah, you go. Shit. Alright. I'm gonna go house this. Um gonna play the Terra. If your opponent has no amber, gain two amber. Uh that's me, over to you, man. Uh, I'm gonna play Sanctum. Mm-hmm. of the fair. So play, destroy an enemy creature, mm -hmm. repeat this card's effect if your opponent still controls more creatures to you. So we'll destroy this one. Bang. Yep. Uh, and then because you still have more creatures, we'll yep. destroy that one. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'll play harder they come. So play, purge a creature with power 5 or higher. So we'll purge a turn. Nice. Uh, and then we'll slap down a commander. Is he, isn't he, oh, it's when he reefs. I see, I see. I'm just gonna go house shadows. And play pull and sacrifice. Um, I sacrifice a friendly creature, don't have any kill three damage each to two creatures, but I'm just doing it for the amber and call and check. Uh, we'll go house shadows. Yep. This creature gains okay. reap steal one. one. Yeah, nice. I'll play a Marcus Asp here. Uh-huh. And it's skirmish. Oh uh, yeah. And a poison. Oh my god. Ugh. Um and then I'll just ready up. You can have a order key. Alright, we'll start off with the blue key. Alright, uh we're gonna go house uh Let's go house disc. We're gonna play Fear. We're gonna get rid of this guy. See him in my hand? Yep, he turns to your hand. But it gets rid of that. And then we're gonna play Dust Imp. We need to destroy it. I gain two Ember. And that'll do me. Sank him. Mm hmm. Slap him down. Mm hmm. Gonna go house shadows. Gonna play a ghostly hand. Play if your opponent has exactly one, steal it. And then I get two for the card itself. Uh, we're going to play Naughty the Thief, whose action I can steal one, and he's elusive. Um, and that is all me. Uh, I'll go with Sanctum. Mm hmm. Attack Naughty. So elusive, first time it's attacked each damage. Uh, I'll reap with this guy. Uh huh. And I'm ready. Which allows me to use a friendly non sanctum creature. Uh huh. So we'll use the Ash to attack Naughty. Yep, so he dies. Yep. And uh, you take... I have a skirmish, so yeah. I don't. You don't take the damage. Ah, use please. Oh no, is that for you? Um, yeah, that's cool, that's fine. <laughs> uh, over to me. Yeah, over to you. Alright. What'd you get the what'd you get the amber for? I uh, raped. Oh alright. Alright, you're gonna love this. I'm gonna go house shadows again. I'm gonna play another ghostly hand. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um and I'm going to check. 
<laughs> that was mean. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to relentless wish this. So deal two, two damage. damage. Yep, and then kill them, and then you gain an ember. Mm -hmm. And I gain two. Yep, I uh, do one so I steal one. Thank you. Wait, do you steal it or gain it? I steal. Oh, and then you gain it because of the card. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alright. Yep. This. We're gonna play Pandemonium. So I'm not sure what the timing is. Do you gain that first or do you do the play first? You yeah. gain, you gain okay. it first. So I gain one and then each undamaged creature captures one from its opponent. So you decide the order, I believe. Yep. Um, and then I'm going to play a Dominator Bauble. Come in exhausted. Then we're gonna use the Poltergeist. Use an artifact controlled by any players if it be yours. Destroy that artifact. I'm just gonna destroy it. Then an ember. And over to you. Cool. I'm playing creatures. What the hell? Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go with Mars. Mm hmm. I'm gonna put a brain stem antenna on. Commander Romeo. So he's treated as a mask. Ah, uh, yeah, so this creature gains, after you play a mask creature, ready to let this creature and the remainder of the turn, it blocks down as mask. Cool. Uh, so we'll throw down a tuck. So it's he would ready. Yep. Yep, so he'd ready, and I can now block the house mask. Um, so we're going to read with him. Mm -hmm. So it allows me to use a friendly non sanctum creature. So we'll just tap the ass and read. Cool. Cool. We're going to go House Sanctum. We're going to play the Spirit's Way. Play, destroy each creature with power three or higher. They all go. We're going to play the Staunch Knight. We're going to play Inspiration, ready and use a friendly creature, so reap. And we will play... Hmm. Yeah, we'll play Shield of Justice, so for the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature cannot be dealt damage. But I think it's only for my turn. But I get an Amber, so it takes me to five. Over to you. Uh huh. Which does? Uh, reveal any number of mask cards. Yeah, so two I'm damage. I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> I gain an ember. Yep. If I'm destroyed, or is it just off the card? Oh, off the card. Yeah. Off the card. Yep. I will play deep pro and choose shadow. So what happens? So uh, choose a house, reveal your hand, your hand, and discard each creature of that house. Reveal this one. My hand, I have oh creature, so discard. Yeah. So that she actually goes because it's only when she's destroyed. And that's the rest. You of reveal your hand. I'll reveal my hand. Might be. Sorry. Did I get an amber flower? I don't think you did. No, you didn't. Because you were at five at the start. I'm gonna suck down a mega mouth. And then I will check. Alright. I'm going to play bait and switch. If your opponent has more than you, steal one. Then repeat this effect till you're even. What? Well, repeat this until you don't have more than me, which you don't. Uh, we're going to play Nerve Blast. Steal one if you do. Deal two damage to a creature. So deal two damage to him. And we will check. I got seven. But we buried him there on the lone prairie. <laughs> <laughs> Nixon, they're like, fuck. <laughs> oh, and the wind blows oh, free. I don't even get a key. In a 
Shallow Where are shadows? Yep. All I can do is too much to protect. So you still... Still all well. but six. <laughs> so you're up to seven. <laughs> down a little more. And then not a thief. And then GG. And then forge. Bang! Oh, crushing! All right, welcome uh, to the wrap up. All right, uh, well, good game, first of all. Good yeah, game, yeah. Uh, worked up a sweat, stomping you. Such a hard game. <laughs> uh, well, tradition is loser talk, so take us away, Nicholas. Oh, yeah, so uh, I feel like my deck really wants to be creature control. It like it it has the cards in there to deal with creatures. Uh, unfortunately for me, Luke's deck was pretty action card. Heavy, dominant uh, yeah, yeah action artifact heavy you're like you're like yeah man I'm, I'm not slapping down creatures and i'm like all oh, my cards in my hand want to deal stuff to his creatures, creatures. yeah like, yeah it's like got nothing like, yeah that was i mean you also had um so i had a lot of i had a really action heavy um he opening hand and the only reason i didn't mulligan it is because i had um <laughs> Oh, uh, what's the card called? Um, virtuous, works. virtuous works. Yeah, and I was like, you first play, you only can you can only play one card, and normally I actually prefer a second player because unless unless you're doing something that really hampers your opponent, like getting out like a like a um, like an em ember imp where you can only do two cards or uh, succubus uh, mind probe, something where you really uh, you even need something that gives you really good tempo, or you need something that inhibits your opponent's tempo because I feel like. Deep I really do feel like first player is a majority of the time a disadvantage because you can only play one card and then also you don't draw any new cards because you've gone from seven to six. Yeah. So then your opponent can go like if they got a good hand, they can go like one, two, three, and I draw up. I, I find the only advantage of being first player is that you essentially get a free mulligan. True, exactly. Um but yeah, but so because I had Crucible, I was like, hell no, I'm gonna take that and I think that early game tempo, which I managed really well, just put you from a pretty unrecoverable position super fast. Because it was first turn I got three, then you did a turn, and then the next turn I was like, cool, I'm gonna play the terror and get like it was like the next turn or the turn after it was like, cool, I play the terror and I get two ambers. I'm at five within like three turns, and you're mm. like, fuck. And then I remember on the next turn you picked up a amber, or like not like not long thereafter I picked up you picked up a amber, and I was like cool ghostly hand, so I get three. And then the very next turn you had one amber, and again I had another ghostly hand, and I was like cool, that's a key, thank yeah, you, thank you. And then by that point I was that that gave me my second key, and you were still at zero, and you had no amber, and you were sitting there like the fuck do I do here? <laughs> like um, there was no clue in my way back. I I, I really needed to put like creatures down so I could mm. deal that damage take the ember from you it was like no nope, this, this is not happening yeah it's, it's brutal like I said like I said like when I looked at this I feel like this deck has a really really good amount of amber generation and amber control um and I think if that like so I think spy barker for me is a very it's sort of like the deck that I judge all my new like other decks against and Spybucker, I feel, has very similar abilities to both control your opponent's tempo. Mm. Not necessarily, it's not, I don't think it's as good as this deck as it, at um, messing with their Amber. But it has a fair bit of that in it. But it is really good at messing with your opponent's tempo and building its own tempo. And um, it has really good Amber generation. And I think this has really, like I think having two ghostly hands in a deck is it's in pretty insane. It's insane because even if you don't steal one, just to be able to play a card and go two amber, and if you have more than one of them in your hand, to be able to go in one turn pick up four amber off two cards is mm -hmm. nuts. And most times, sometimes too, being second second player, if the first player plays a card that gains them, them one, one and, and then you're like, you, cool man, sweet. Yeah, you're like, thanks for that, thanks. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I think that's really, I mean, and like, you know what, like we didn't even see like some of the really nasty shit in here, like key hammer, um, where I could unforge oh, I was a key. waiting for that. I had, I had that, you know, too much to protect. And right. Like, right. I was like, God damn it. Pull off your freaking combo already <laughs> so I can <laughs> but, stand um, this down. But yeah, there's like a lot of stuff in here that I'm like, damn, that's, that's pretty nasty. Um, so I oh, mean, three, three from, just keep giving me, keep cracking. Dis and shadows, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> it's gonna be like Nick was saying. That, 
after. After I cracked it. Then he's like, the first time you crack like a Brovna untamed Mars deck, you'll be like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> <laughs> and it's true, because I have not played them. I have literally played three houses. I've played Sanctum, Dis... No, so four. Sanctum, Dis, Shadows, and Logos. And all of my decks have Shadows and Dis. So, um... Damn, really, really good deck. Uh, really interesting game. Um, yeah, that was brute. Very brute. that was brute. I mean, yeah, it's like uh, uh, another thing with this game is your card draw. Oh. Like if you don't draw any, like, like I need creatures on the board to do stuff. Mm. But like when you play that card, it was destroy all creatures with power three, three or, or less, and it was all of them. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, on the top of my head, I'm like. Man, all the creatures in my deck are three or less. <laughs> like that's brutal. <laughs> yeah, no, that was that was rough. Um, well, this is Forge Master Luke and uh, Fulcrum Nick. Uh, yeah. Signing off. Thanks for joining us. Uh, jump on the Discord, have a chat, and uh, yeah, we'll be back with some more Keyforge, more other games. You love yeah. it. Love it.